Hello YouTube. We're outside this morning. Well, not morning anymore. It's around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 12.30, something like that. I brought to y'all the other day about a con job. Yes, I did. There's a con job going on on the internet. And we got several, several members of this little organization. And it's not what you would say the best organization in the world. And it's a group of people. And it's big groups of people following other groups of people. And they have paid organizations which we call trolls on the internet. They're paid to damage real, honest to God, truth-telling people. Now, a few months back, there was a person named Benjamin Fulford that come out with the act, talking about the Act 1871, and he was talking about other things as which of, you know, the White Dragon Society and giving people money and gold and uh, this and that because they're supposed to have so much gold. Now, I'm theorizing here, folks. I'm not pinpointing any particular names or people. I am just telling you a story. And this is my opinion. But what I'm telling you is it's two, sometimes three different organizations that could be involved in this. And at the same aspect, not meaning that any one of them completely are bad or don't know that what they're doing is bad. But I will tell you this. We are dealing with people that like to put out false information and trying to change the route of which it may be going. Confuse you and take your eye off the truth. Now, I've been talking to y'all a long time about the Act 1871. We all know that. Now, also going to let you know that you know, there's a little bit of a a scenario going on where me and a few other people I'm going to say who or which people but have been pretty much told to stop doing what we're doing for the fact that that's what they want and they want to take my free speech away from me. Now about six, maybe seven days ago, Alex Jones had the Act 1871 on his channel for the first time that I've ever seen it actually be brought forth on his channel. Now, am I saying Alex Jones in well? I don't know this yet. Still working on these scenarios. But I will tell you this. It did bring attention to the situation of the Act 1871. And here in a few days, I'm going to show you some screenshots of some things that's really going to uh, trip you out 
there's things of hacking people's uh, hard drives through the internet um, going on there's people out there telling people lies about other people creating fabrications and making up stuff on other people or using old information that someone else fabricated trying to make a point and some of them are doing it to be recognized as a truther well I'm going to be quite honest with you folks every time there's a name come up about anything out there uh, the truthers organization religion um, the tea party all of them get they get screwed up and compromised from the same type of organization now YouTube has been fairly good about getting the information out but you've also know that there are some channels out there that has rapidly started growing that's because there's an organization out there paying troll networks of some sort don't know who where what or how who it is per se yet but they're paying these people to troll other people that are trying to do good work for truth and they also try to infiltrate them by being rude or whatever it takes to be their friend they'll start off being nice and, I love your stuff please come please contact me I got some information for you and I'm not doing this to scare y'all away from the truth and scare you away okay. and it's on and on folks the story is deep I've been on YouTube since October, I think it's October 3rd, 2009. And I've seen a lot of channels grow. I've seen a lot of them lose their channels, come back and grow, but not grow as big. And I have seen some of them in the last year, by the last year now that they started a channel and they've extremely rapidly grown extremely fast I don't mean this in a disrespect to those people I don't but there's something about the information that certain people want out I'm going to use ISON as a scenario. ISON has been fear-mongered to a point to where it's a number one hit on YouTube. And I don't mean this in a disrespected way. I don't. But those people that say that they're into the truth, literally, if you're into the truth don't put out fear guys it's it's not true folks I saw started out as ice dirt and gases as a frozen material into a ball over thousands of miles of travel you can look up comments you don't necessarily have to look up it up from NASA 
to find out this stuff. You can go to astrologers and ask the same question. And I'm not talking about mainstreamers. I'm talking about real astrologers. Don't believe fear-mongering YouTubers that's going to tell you that Ison is 40 million miles wide and we don't know what it's going to cause to Earth. Really? We done been through this already with Elenin. Okay? Elenin did the same thing. Did anything happen? No, it did not. Did any of us change in appearance? Did any one of us get any magical powers and become superhuman? Did any of us learn how to read people by just looking at them and been able to have that conversation with them without moving our lips. No. None of that shit happened. And none of that shit's going to happen again. I'm not doing this video to go off on just ice on. I'm not going off on ice on. I thought it was going to be beautiful. Well, it turns out that it's not going to show. It's a no show on ice on. But what I'm telling you, folks, really what I'm telling you about all of this other stuff that's going on right now is that there's a group of people out there and they're working together with other people to create fear. Another one corrects it. And as long as they're in the right and in the same group, they get the protection that they need to do exactly what they're doing. One creates the fear and the other one and the other one corrects it without any destruction to their channel. The other one gains from the fear and the other one gains from trying to tell you the truth. That's kind of complicated for people to understand. And there's other people that are getting very, very mad about the situation. But folks, there is a lot of information that I know that I'm telling it is crazy stuff. And I know no one wants to believe what I'm telling you. And they're going to come to my channel. And they're going to threaten to take my channel down again. Because I'm making this video. Because I'm speaking freely. I always have. I always will. And I'm also going to state one other thing. I don't plan on killing myself. I don't plan on hurting anyone else. And I don't plan on disappearing. So my point of it is, is this. Oh, and I also don't plan on stopping anything I'm doing. Because first off, I'm not doing anything against the law. And number two, the people that are out there playing their games are using as close a tactics as they can, as a lawyer would do, to be this side of being illegal. You do know that a lawyer, he's just this side of being a crook. We have the same scenario right now going on on YouTube. These people are playing so close to the edge of the law that it's ridiculous. Telling you scenarios like you're going to die, but not necessarily saying you're going to die. You're going to end up like... Uh, 
you know, the guy in the car that his car got blowed up. You know, that everybody thinks that he was murdered. The the reporter. I can't remember the guy's name right now. Point being is this. Every time the Act of 1871 comes up, something disturbing happens to a channel or channels two that I know of are threatened or took down or accused of being shields or accused of doing something wrong and all of those people that are doing that are paid pets they're not even real some of them they're just an army of 50 to 100 paid robots that have a specific task to uptick the channel that they're protecting and to crucify anyone anyone's comment to distract from the conversation and it's kind of curious curious to me that I know of four channels that have that four and that's just the beginning and yeah I'm not showing y'all no proof yet I'm just talking to you and the reason why I'm not showing you no truth or showing you nothing but the sky is because I'm still working on it and I don't want no one no one to know where I'm going and where I'm not going not yet but I will tell you one other thing I mentioned Benjamin Fulford and Alex Jones and there is a colonel, not a colonel, a captain that, sorry about the dogs, there's a captain that's running around talking about the White Dragon Society and uh, all this gold money and he's meeting people in New York. Now, I'm just telling you straight up that I've gave you three names. And the three names are there for you to see. But anyway, folks, it's like this. Now, you got the captain. I didn't give you his name. Some of you know who I'm talking about. You got Benjamin Fulford. You got Alex Jones. Now... Benjamin come out with the Act 1871 a couple of months ago. Alex Jones come out with it six days ago. And both of those two times that that was mentioned, listen to, me, listen to me when I tell you this, both times that I put this out, or not I, but they, both times that that was put out, because everyone knows that I am very strong about abolishing the Act 1871. And I promote it in every video I make with my intro beginning and end. Now who do you really think that they're after? Now there's a lot of speculation out there among some of my friends that it might be them or somebody else that we don't know of yet but really what's the one thing that's been hid the most for 142 years that's getting very popular I'll tell you what that is that's the Act 1871 
and to know that everybody was born and raised for our last 142 years as a corporation, not knowing that that was not the way it's supposed to be. You do know that. You've been hearing it for a very long time. And I'm going to tell y'all folks, I'm not here to quit. I'm not a quitter. Never have been. I've been on YouTube since October 3rd, 2009. But in the year where Daddy Bush and Bill Clinton was running for president, I've told this story before. I'm going to tell it again. There was a man by the name of Bo Gratz. He was running for president. And I backed him real hard for a whole year. I pushed his information. Back then, we didn't have the internet like we got it today. We did have it, but it was real shitty. Dial up, no speed, complicated, and all that. Well, now we got the internet that's real fast. But back then, I had my ham radio. And I used that radio to transmit and rebroadcast that information. And at the same time, and at the same time, we had conditions that everyone on the West Coast and from me where I'm at from the West Coast from I would say Texas all the way up to Washington State and a backside to New York at different times of the day well I played it 24 hours a day and this is the part where people don't get what I mean by this sometimes it even transmitted to other parts of the world. It wasn't just the United States. So there was a lot of people that heard that information. Even though they were pissed off because they didn't want to hear it. There was people out there that heard the information. And we're talking 20, what, 25 years now? 24 years, something like that? That's how long I've been into this. And there's still a lot of you people out there that think that I'm just an old dumbass. Don't know nothing. Really? I'm 53 years old. And you young whippersnappers that think you've learned something, you ain't dug far enough yet. And I don't mean that in a disrespected way. I'm not rude to people. I don't comment to people. And when other people say it's me commenting to them, nine times out of ten because I have made a few comments but generally only on my channel so if anybody thinks that I'm out there giving you a hard time you're wrong because I don't do that everybody has a right to free speech they also have the right in my opinion this is my opinion to say and do whatever they feel. But you have to be very careful about doing that because someone might threaten you or take it the wrong way and try to destroy you with it or your reputation to make you a fear mongering or not fear mongering but uh, person that's trying to threaten you and kill you just an example but folks I've been talking a long time here and I don't really know if all of you are gonna catch what I'm trying to tell you there's gonna be some that does there's gonna be some that don't but people this is our lives we're talking about. 
it's our freedom that we're talking about. It's the emotional freedom that you think you have that's really leaving you at a rapid speed and has been since Bush Jr. has been in office. Now before that, it was still leaving you, but not such a rapid speed. Daddy Bush started the New World Order. He's the very first president to set it. And since then, it has gotten worse and worse every day. It's not about Democrat and Republicans because they're the same entity. In the Constitution, there's not supposed to be a party. That's right, you heard me. It's supposed to be free men, free people, making their own decisions. Voting, man, <clears throat> voting to a point to where it's not just 51%. They would rather it be 100. And I'm going to be quite honest with you folks. If we don't go back to our original forefathers constitution and abolish the act 1871 and the laws that created the act of 1871 there's more laws than just that one but we got to start with that one to get our sovereignty rights back so the law itself can't take our rights away so when we go to court it needs to be pointed out that we are sovereign people we're not slaves to the corporation it also needs to be proven and pushed that they work for us we don't work for them and that's something that they're shoving down your throat right now and I'm going to be quite honest with you there's never going to be free health care. There's never going to be a free dime put in your pocket. If you don't work for it, you're never going to get it. It's like this. Every person has to do something. If it ain't nothing but going outside and picking up acorns every day, trying to sell it to the squirrel down the street you think that's funny kind of is but that ain't the point you got my point you really did now folks I have no ill feelings against anybody to hurt destroy or do anything too. I do have a problem with fear mongering and lies and distraction from the truth. And most of you do. And my plea is to everyone out there. If you ain't got nothing better to do, stop trolling and look up the Act of 1871 and see where it's going to benefit you. And the reason why I say that is because of this. Because if you think the money trail, the high dollar money, is going to make you any any more free you're wrong and it doesn't matter if it comes to your your spouse your family members or your children you can't allow that if you can't convince them with things that are going on you have to keep trying no matter what to show them and to teach them 
about their sovereign rights and who they are and pass it to your children, your grandchildren, everybody you can because they're not going to teach them in school, not going to teach them to do anything else. So that folks, so I'm having to the recording and I'm having to add to it here. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day. And be looking forward to seeing the proof of the information that I'm going to provide you soon. Much love.